Being an Indiana guy who had a childhood here in the 1980s, I've always kind of been fond of good old John Cougar Mellencamp. In my book, anyone who can work a line like this on chili dog, outside taste freeze, into a hit song, they've got my respect. Unfortunately, it seems that John has sucked down one too many chili dogs and he has transformed into comedian Ron White just without the cigar, the whiskey, and any discernible sense of humor. Yet again, Mellencamp has cut his concert short, essentially stealing a ton of money from fans who paid overpriced tickets to hear a guy with toasted vocal cords trying desperately to hold on to 60 as long as you can. It apparently started as it always does with Mellencamp with politics. A dude who paid $2,000 for upfront seats to hear Pink Houses, ROCK in the USA, and Hurt So Good, he got tired of hearing a wealthy Hollywood type share his progressive politics. So the fans started yelling out at Mellencamp to play some music. No. Now, did you notice all the other fans who started shouting no? That isn't because they don't want to hear the songs, it's because they know how delicate of a flower this old man in a one-piece Dickies romper has become. Like the spoiled, sensitive kid that you knew growing up who was so rich he expected to get his way all the time, you don't dare cross him or he'll just take his ball and go home. And that's exactly what happened. Hey Joe, find this guy and let me see him after the show. Guys, I can stop this show right now and just go home. Tell you what I'm going to do. Since you've been so wonderful, I'm going to cut about 10 songs out of the show. Here we go. A little did it. Got Jack down. And with that, Mellencamp shaved not only 10 songs off of his show, he shaved the whole thing. So let's look at this fairly. First of all, to a certain extent, the fan was rude. People don't go to a Mellencamp concert to hear you complain. They go because they love the 80s and they want to relive it no matter how painful it might be. So if you go, you gotta hold your liquor, you gotta suck it up and let the geriatric diva up on stage preach his sermon. Kind of like you gotta put up with Steven Tyler telling a bunch of gross stories about what he used to do with women 70 years ago if you go to an Aerosmith show, hearing stupid political hot takes from a dude who has lived a pampered life of privilege is just part of the price of admission if you go to a Mellencamp concert. So that's one side. But on the other hand, a word to John Cougar. Dude, show a little gratitude for the life that these people have given you. Try for just a second to swallow your own pride and realize it doesn't always have to be about you. Sometimes it can be about the fans. Here's some hard truths, dude. You're not a good singer anymore. You haven't written a decent song for nearly two decades. You are too old now to put on a good show but people still come out to see you because they have good memories tied to your music. So anybody with a shred of decency in their bones should do what rockers like John Bon Jovi does. Tell their audiences, hey, my voice is shot and you may have to help me out, but we're doing all the hits tonight and I'm not leaving until you've had enough. That, John, that's what makes you legendary instead of a childish brat. And if you can't do it, if you can't hop off your Hollywood high horse for an evening with the fans who've supported you for years, then stop booking shows, stop selling tickets, and refund the money of the people that you have ripped off royally. It isn't hard to be a good person. At least, that's what a guy who claims I was born in a small town should know. Just be better or hang it up.